I would say this. Um, <clears throat> I'm here to defend Monkey D Dragon. Here we go. All right, I'm ready. I All right. I'm ready for the Monkey D Dragon, and I prepared a Monkey D Dragon defense. Oh, this is fantastic. This is great content. I want to hear this. Uh, so, Mr. Legend. Okay. When we talk about goals in One Piece, who do you think has the most difficult goal? Most difficult goal in the story? Probably Chopper. Chopper? <laughs> Why? To, to heal any disease? Bro, bro. He can't even heal smiles. What do you mean? But, but let me ask you this. If Chopper doesn't accomplish his goal, what changes? Niggas nothing. dying, I guess. Nothing. Yeah, nothing, nothing changes. Nothing changes. Yeah, yeah. The world continues, right? Yeah, yeah, the world continues. You're right. But Dragon, right? Chopper got to cure about, cancer, we, bro. We talk about Luffy being the Pirate King. Right, right. Right? We talk about Zora becoming the world's strongest swordsman. Right. We talk about Garp and his... I'm mm. not sure what Garp's goal is, to be honest. That's true. Um, Doesn't really have one. But Dragon's goal is the liberation of the people from the Celestial Dragons. The part Fair. about with Dragon's goal and why it's a unique situation is because technically there hasn't really been a situation like this. Everybody else has a blueprint. Everybody else has something they can follow. That's true. For Dragon, he's doing this as he goes. So for Luffy, Luffy's had a path in front of him. Literally a path. For Zoro, literally a path. Honestly, there's no path because just him and Mihawk. Nobody else likes swords. It's just them two. For Dragon, he was raised by the hero of the Marines. So I'm sure Dra right. Garp drilled that into him every single day. Yeah. He said, you know what? I'm about that. I'm about justice. I'm about saving people. I'm going to go to the Marines. Do you know how much balls it took? Some people understand about being the son of somebody that's important. Right. Somebody that everybody looks up to. And veering away from that and saying no. I'm not going to follow that path. Actually, right. I'm going to create a faction that's specifically designed to go up against the faction that my father's the champion of. Yeah. That is unlike anything we've seen in the story. So with that it's being said, with that being said with Dragon, there's no blueprint. He had no money, no forces. Everything had to be hands on. So now he's starting to get some momentum. He had the Freedom Fighters and now he's building the Revolutionaries. He has three main guys. Kuma, Ivankov, and it was him. And he started to get some captains, some commanders, and Ginny, right? So now Ginny gets captured. And the slander is Dragon. You should go get Ginny. But my thing is, can Dragon risk that? Because here's what here's what happened to Dragon while he's building this revolution. Ginny dies, right? Ivankov goes to jail. Kuma leaves. And he still had to carry it on his back. Because if Dragon falls, then it all crumbles. But even while losing his three main people, mm -hmm. he still has continued this revolution. So I think Dragon, I guarantee, right? I'm gonna say I guarantee that Dragon exhausted every possible logical option to somehow try to save Ginny or locate Ginny. But he can't be like Luffy. Luffy mm -hmm. literally is dumb. And Luffy makes the stupidest decisions because at the end of the day, Luffy has a lot of people that can pick him up. For Dragon, at the end of the day, he has people that he trusts, but he has to be that 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 backbone. He has to be the one <clears throat> consistent thing because if he doesn't, then the world is still going to be what it is. Of course, based on Oda and the writing, Luffy could come in and get some of that glory, but Luffy, I don't give Luffy credit for that because it's not intentional. Everybody else can get can get away with being unintentional. Garp, for the longest, before you started training anybody, I'm just gonna be the hero of the Marines. Oh, I don't care if they're slaves. I don't care if they're killing people, pillaging, taking celestial tribute. I can just be the hero and be strong and fight, and fight Roger. For Luffy, I don't care. I can just go fight anybody I want. Ace died from turning around. I'm gonna just turn around and fight Big Mom as well. Right. I don't care because I'm Monkey D fucking Luffy. Right. For Dragon, it's like, even when he went to Logtown, wait, who's stationed there? Dragon can fold Smoker with his, with his eyes closed. But I still wanna know who's there because I gotta be careful. So for me and Dragon, it's like, I agree. There are moments where Oda could have showed Dragon doing something or talking about something or saying something as to why he's not doing things. But I think, honestly, based on the merit of everything he's done, bro, he pulled up on Vegapunk. Like, nah, fuck this. After everything that happened to Ohara, it's up. How are you gonna help me? Right. And I think a man like that, also based off of the people that follow him, Ivankov, right? One of the most solid people we've met in the story. True. Right? Kuma. One of the most best solid the people story. met in the in the story. Best, best and you know what they both the say? We follow Dragon no matter what. Right. We expect Luffy to be like that because of him. And off of that, I'm like, 
all right i believe it i believe dragon and so i i understand some of the the questions and looking at what dragon has done and saying yo why haven't you done anything but i think when you look at everything around him and what he's done so far you gotta give him his props he can't be like luffy he's not built like that him and garp they get away with it they get away with it because they don't really have the it's no accountability there yes garp is garp has learned now garp went into hachinosu to save kobe to save kobe yeah the younger generation because he, he really went to save the younger generation yeah he can do that but they have a generation of people if Gar if dragon falls like it all crumbles and so it's like it, it's i can't slander dragon for being careful because he has to be so this was an excellent defense and everything you said i think it's correct i think it's correct it's also things that i knew but as you know in agenda piece brago <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's things that we have that's called logic and then there's things that we have that's called agenda and for me okay. i acknowledge dragon's role in the story i don't think someone like kuma would follow dragon if there wasn't something that he's seen that we haven't right i think my issue with dragon is that i haven't seen right that's the thing it's just like there's things that you can show about dragon that doesn't need him to do anything my issue with jenny's is there's no way dragon just gonna pull up to mary joe's i'm like where's jenny like no that's just irresponsible he shouldn't do that but it's like jenny's been kidnapped and then it just closes off like it's a sitcom or something like it's done and, we're done. and nothing happens all you see is kuma struggling and jenny's coming back with a disease and that's it and i'm like dragon that's on your watch and it's like we're just okay with that my thing is like if dragon had told everybody, this is what we signed up for. This is what we were supposed to do. But I'm gonna allow these resources to go and locate Jenny. Just de some delegation, some leadership. We love Dragon for a lot of things that we haven't seen. Leadership, delegation, right. speeches, something. All I got, This is why I make the joke, all we see about Dragon is him looking east, triple dots and some witty one-liners. At the end of the day, I've seen more leadership from Sabo than I have Dragon. I'm like, how is that possible? Like that's to me, and this is the whole kid argument, right? This is like when we're going back to kid, it's like, are we really mad at kid or are we mad at Oda? You can apply yeah. the same thing with Dragon. Are we really mad at Dragon or are we mad at Oda? And my thing is, is that Od Dragon is such an important character, but we have not got any tangible evidence from the man himself to really latch on due to the weight that he has in the story. There is nothing that has been given or shown to Dragon to warrant his weight yet besides PR. And that's what I've been saying the entire time. It's either Kuma PR, Ivankov PR, or the fact that he's related to Dragon, his role in the story. But until we see some tangible, and I'm not, I don't even need him fighting. I don't need some random wind where we assume, oh, that wind has got to be dragon. I just want to see what makes the man. I want to see the man dragon. I don't know who he is. I just know he's this great leader. And that's why I call him a fraud because a lot of frauds are like that. What's the difference between dragon and buggy? What's the difference? I mean, for buggy, a lot of times, it seems like he just slips into W's. But what, dragon, if dragon seems... just, what if he just sliding into W's? But the thing is, it hasn't been <laughs> W's. We talk about, we talk about Sabo <laughs> being a great leader. Right? Talk about Sabo being a great leader. Sabo's a great leader, yes, but is that because of Dragon or because Sabo no, no, always no, had no, that no. in him? I'm saying, we talk about Sabo being a great leader. Why did we all have to leave ba leave Baltigo? That's been under wraps for years. Oh, because of Sabo. He didn't know that Bridget was coming out of state. So you call, you call Slater Sabo for that. I mean, Sabo is a hothead. Like, we gonna blame him for that, Sabo yes. Sabo went into <laughs> Mary Dua. If, if Cobra's not if Cobra's not there, I don't know. Did Sabo get out of that? Yo, that, and listen, how did this Sabo did Sabo all that. This? Yo, Sabo did all that to bring back Kuma. <laughs> and Kuma Yo, this, Kuma, this Sabo what the hell is Kuma gonna do to help nigga. us? He dead. Yo, nah, this Sabo slander is crazy. I ain't even. I didn't see this coming, dog. That's crazy. Sabo is more like Buggy than Dragon. Sabo didn't even face at Yo, you know what's crazy? Sabo got all these stocks up, didn't see one Admiral. No, he saw Fuji Tour. What you mean? Didn't see one Admiral. He saw, you know. And Mary Joa? No, not didn't see Mary Joa. Huh? Admiral. He saw the girl say, though. He saw them, bro. You oh. see St. J now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He had an old man protecting him. Listen. <laughs> so, hey. Sabo, Sabo got called the Flame Emperor for nothing. For nothing. He didn't do anything. 
listen, this is like one of those things. He's stumbling into the W. <laughs> yes, I th- bro, I'm not gonna lie. I at least thought Sabo took down one of the admirals. He's fighting. <laughs> he didn't even see them. <laughs> and niggas, you know what niggas is saying? Yo, Sabo got yo, he got out of there though. He got out of <laughs> there, yo. He got out of there though. <laughs> Man, Sabo is the leader. Man, Dragon was like, bro, Yo. you brought this nigga right to our base. You got caught. You got Lucia erased. What the fuck are you doing? Hey, I'm the Flame Emperor, though. I'm the Flame Emperor, I'm the Flame Emperor, though, gang. Yo. And it's like, I love Sabo, but it's one of those situations where, like, bad decisions are working out. It's like the Luffy thing, where he's getting, like, the main character tax, where it's like, it's bad decision after bad decision, but like, shit, it worked out, I guess. Cool. <laughs> and so like, I I don't know. Can we look at Sabo as just the, the guy that's making everything happen? Because he's like stumbling into it. Oh my God. I don't, Yo, that's funny, I don't bro. know. That's funny. For Dragon, it's like, like again, like Dragon is one of those characters. I agree with you. We don't have enough context as to why Dragon is still waiting. I right. agree with that. We don't know why Dragon has to wait for a specific time. We don't know why he's been waiting. We don't know what he's been doing in the background. But with the setup that we got from Kuma, I'm willing to wait. Somebody said at least Sabo is doing something. Sometimes the right decision is doing nothing. I mean, that is true. And that How is How many times that is the I live if by. we watch if we watch uh let's take it a soccer. I'm sure most of your audience they like football. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Sometimes the best play is just kicking the ball away. Yeah. Let's clear it. Yeah, just clear, clear the ball, the right? They're like, nah, nah, nah. Go through him. Go through him, bro. Go score. <laughs> John, John Go score. Bro, it's you're the only analogy, man back. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Trying to, try to do too much with the Trying to do too much. Sabo, bro, let's be honest. Sabo did too much. Because <laughs> you know how Sabo got bailed out? You know how he got bailed out? Yeah. Greenbull was fighting against Fujitora. <laughs> None of the God Knights pulled up. None of them. Yo. None of them. Yo, this 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 Sabo reversal is I'm, not bro, was not I'm on my big list for today, dog. That's crazy. I'm just bro. saying he walks out with the W, <laughs> but did he actually do anything? <laughs> hey, bro, he and did, bro, this dude Sabo basically called him and was like, "Yo, I gotta tell y'all what's going on." They tapped the damn phone. He knows that the phone was tapped. I'm just like, every decision Sabo has made is kind of like it's it's Luffy ish. Well, he's the Luffy of the revolutionaries at this point true he is and so you know i'm not really mad at sabo but it's kind of like you kind of gotta we got i think people are tired of waiting and i agree we should have seen something by, from dragon at this point but the setup is too good bro but my thing here's my question what does dragon need to do for you to say okay so it's funny because i actually right. made i made a video about this or i made at the end of i think it was at the end of my last live reaction the reaction before I said I will actually publicly apologize because at this point I've dedicated myself to being a Skip Bayless Dragon. No oh matter what gosh. he does, I will find a way. Like I will find a way. LeBron will score 40, 10, and 12, <laughs> but miss one free throw in the last two minutes, and Skip will make a whole segment off that free right. throw. And nothing right. else. That's where I'm at. Where it's like, I know Dragon's gonna be great, but what can he do for me to be like, Okay, I'm yeah. ready to stop the slander. I'm ready to be like, all right, Dragon, you won me over. And for me, one of the things I needed is just, I want to see his leadership skill at a level where I'm moved, like Mandela. Like, it's like I'm seeing a Mandela or an MLK, you know? I'm seeing a real leader. I'm trying, I want to see that leadership where it's like, everybody's behind Dragon. Dragon stands on business so hard that even I got to be like, damn. Yeah. And it's got to be, it's, he got to stand on business harder than Kuma. Because at this point, well, okay, cool. when we say stand on business, right? I want some clarity. Okay, so because somebody that stood on business is Fisher Tiger. I love Fisher Tiger, and you know how much I love Fisher Tiger. I he died on business, but he st- <laughs> he stood on it too. So it's like, the ultimate stand on business, but it's the ultimate. Do you think your people be better without you being here? Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? I think he the benefit. Official Tiger sacrifice was Jimbe. It was Jimbei, 50-50. Jimbe Jimbe had to take up that mantle. And Jimbe then had to start making the sacrifices that Fisher Tiger should have made. 
working with Whitebeard, establishing those relationships, becoming a warlord, working with Big Mom just to save his people. Fisher Tiger's like, man, fuck these humans. I don't want that blood. I'm dying. <laughs> he said, let me die, bro. But okay, you created Jinbei. There's also Arlong. Oh, There's also yeah. Hody. Oh, Hody. Well, that's the you thing. You see what I'm saying? Right? It's like the seeds that you plant. At the end of the day, it's like, who is going to take your message and do good with it and who won't? Because if Fisher Tiger would have stayed, arguably the fishman, the fishman perception still would have been getting tainted because that nigga was still attacking ships. Jinbei stopped attacking ships. Yep. So him dying was important because Jinbei is like, that was a waste of his life. But I see what I, I respect what you did. Arlong or Arquan is like, bro, he's still on business. Fuck, Fuck you, man. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Arlong's like, yo, he's still on business. That, that, so that's it. So. It, it it's all about it's, the message and the takeaway. But I think Dragon had to have enough of, of an impact for someone like Sabo to say, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm joining, you know? No, I agree. And I think Dragon has had, so the impact that Dragon is having, and I think you putting into the fact that the revolutionaries is the most difficult thing to ever, to run period, point blank. There's no, mm -hmm. there's nothing closer to that. It's a very strong point. But it also makes my point stronger that if you have such an organization and you have people like Kuma following you, people like Sabo following you, let me in just a little smidgen right because the reason i slander him about being a deadbeat dad is not because luffy wanted him luffy don't care about that nigga at all so it's not really about luffy but it's for me it's like you can there's ways to there's ways to interact with your son without getting caught there's ways there's 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 ways there's ways there's ways to do it. it it's not worth it it's not worth so a relationship with a son is just not worth it in the not right now not right now and that's why luffy what don't does, care about it. but that's the thing what is the purpose right now of Dragon and Luffy having a relationship? There is no purpose at this point. Besides, well, actually, point, now, now there would be. Now they, now he with can Bonnie help and Kuma. Dragon, right? Yes. He, he can help the cause, but it's almost like the the Jing thing, right? In that world, it's almost like you gotta have, you gotta find your way, your own way. And Dragon even said in Chapter One Hundred, a pirate, that's okay too, because he's all about freedom right mm -hmm. and so i think with dragon what my question is based on how focused dragon seems to be how did he have a kid someone just said he must have been an accident i look i i that's the thing those are the questions i need answered dragon seems to be such a focused individual he got a baby mama how Know, Unless man. I mean, but Luffy, we believe Luffy is his actual kid, right? It ain't just like him taking in a kid. It's like that's his actual child. I don't. How does that happen? It could have been the case that the reason he stayed away from Luffy is because when they had Luffy, they found his wife and killed her, and he said, "Nah, they don't know I have a son. I'm sending yeah. him away," and that's it. Yeah, and that could be the case. That could be the I case. Think... But again, we don't know. Yeah. And I think Oda could have given us one small thing like i'm saying whatever Oda's is holding back it better be worth it that's really what it is so for me i've just taken a stance of he's a fraud until i see anything different and then the slander about him being a deadbeat dad if i'm gonna be 100 percent honest it's kind of funny to me at least i just see it that way because he's moving like an nba dad <laughs> i got bigger fish to fry i don't need to see my son uh, i think i think when i with dads in, in this in this world i think because we don't have enough context it's hard but i understand it someone that's to me a deadbeat a deadbeat dad is yasa yasa is trash let's be that's real deadbeat. that's that like, he's worse than he's worse than dragon by at that's least deadbeat. considerable more he is yasa trash. is horrendous he is trash a, a sick wife a young <laughs> child and then when there was a chance to meet him <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm ready to meet Usopp yet. Nigga, how many years has it been? Your son became a liar because of you. <laughs> this, talk about the sea calling me. What you mean, nigga, the sea what are you, calling me? What are you talking about? To be fair, Dragon's son became a Yonka because of him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, all yeah, right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me right, out. What? What one. name? The, the clout name. Smoker was packing him up at Log Town, if not for Dragon. It's over. That's True. one instance. Right. Secondly, Luffy's done at Thriller Bark if not for dragons interactions and relationship with kuma true right right luffy's probably gone at sabo Odi, if not for that also true so the relationship that dragon has kind of fostered even in even in impel down no marine ford <laughs> Marine Ford and Impel down. Would Ivankov be as happy or helping of Luffy if his you did, it wasn't Dragons? I, I'm you, just but saying. You know what that, but you know what that's like. That's like saying that because 
my grandma took care of me that's because that's my dad that's the reason yo loki my dad was around because my grandma took care of me it don't work that way it's the same thing with piccolo it depends. goku it depends. piccolo was, was more dad, of a dad was your dad making the payments to, for your grandma was he no. paying your grandma's mortgage no <laughs> no he wasn't dragon wasn't paying no bills Kuma was acting on his own. He was working for the ops. No, Kuma was working for the ops, but he was giving Luffy a chance because of who Dragon was. I agree and with he, that. And he decided to test Zoro because of who Dragon was. So I He's agree like, with that. Yeah. But he, but it was mainly because he thought Luffy was Nika and he had a little Nika in. At the end of the day, it was it was more about Nika than Dragon High Key. Like it was, it was but, you know what I'm saying? Kuma, like Kuma also did say, I mean, uh, this is expected. This is expected. He's your son. So it's almost, so it's like, it's not all Dragon. But it's a little coax from Dragon. That relationship matters. It matters. It matters. You know, so I, I think in regards to Dragon, he's not absolved of the criticism. But I think expecting him to be <clears throat> Garp and Luffy when he doesn't have, he doesn't have the room to maneuver and be as free as those guys, it's somewhat unrealistic. And even for Garp, he was somewhat moving like Dragon, where in Marine Ford, he's like, ah, I got to stand on duty. I got to, I can't do anything. But then eventually, you turn into what Luffy is, and he just went stormed, stormed the place, and then now he's captured. But but the thing is, for Garb, that works because it's gonna inspire a generation. He has inspired a generation. For Dragon, let's he let's say he goes and he storms storms Mary Joa, and he saves a bunch of slaves, but then he gets captured. What do you think gonna happen to the slaves right after Dragon gets captured? They're gonna be slaves right again. Yeah, they are. The goal is not to just save slaves. The goal is to get rid of the establishment. Right. We're good. <laughs> All right, Umar. That's the goal. He does. We, it's 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 a lot deeper than Fisher Tiger pulling up on climbing the red line and saving a bunch of niggas. You know what they're gonna do? They about <laughs> to just go get more niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray, Fisher Tiger! He saved a bunch of niggas. They're like, yo, <laughs> hey man, I saw we some niggas in Sierra Village. Go yeah, get some more niggas from Sierra Village. We're low on, we're low on we niggas. We're low on niggas. <laughs> you think saving some niggas gonna stop them from getting more niggas? <laughs> you know what they gonna do this time? They gonna get double the niggas. <laughs> double the niggas. We gotta get some spear niggas just in case. <laughs> These fish fucks climb the red line again and steal some of our niggas. <laughs> It made it worse for niggas. Yo, that's crazy. They're like, nah, <laughs> nah. You see, now we gotta put y'all behind three walls. We gotta, we gotta, <laughs> we, we gonna give y'all three sea stone cuffs. Nah, that's it, bro. nothing, bro. <laughs> Did Fisher Tiger actually make it better for these people? No. Yeah, nah, no Probably he made it worse. <laughs> bro, can you imagine being the first nigga back after the niggas got taken? Oh my yeah. god. Yo, I'll be so mad, yo. Joe, imagine being a fishman to get captured. Yeah, bro. Damn, that's it. You just getting, you just getting slandered. You just getting killed for no reason, bro. Just Come on, bro. Tiger. That's it, bro. So he, so he helped a little bunch of niggas, bro. Half of them niggas probably got caught again. <laughs> half of them probably got caught again. Probably, bro. Executed for no reason, bro. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like Fisher Tiger is a noble gesture. But that doesn't solve the problem. Dragon is trying to solve the problem. At the root. And that is complete eradication of all of them. Now, bro, think about it, right? Jay, at this point, you're a dragon. You just left the Marines. How do we kill all the celestial dragons? You have to find one, a lot of the security has to be weak, which means the Admiral's gotta be weak, the God Knight's gotta be weak, or gone, or occupied. Then the invasion has to begin. But then you have to know all of the factors for how to invade, who is there, what are our defenses, and then you two dragons. The kill as many as you can find. They all got go. Even before that, you need an army. You need an army. But here's the crazy yeah. part about it, right? You need an army of niggas that are so trustworthy That's that true. would not turn if they get captured and offered everything to give you up. That's crazy. That's true. So you don't just need niggas. You need trustworthy niggas that you can trust with your locations, with That's your true. people that are undercover. How do you do it? It is literally an impossible. Jenny didn't break, by the way. She didn't. Quality people, bro. That's difficult. It's like, it's an impossible task 
I agree. Oda needs to give us more in regards to what Dragon has been doing in the background. But based on how Oda cooked with Kuma, bro, I'm locked in. I'm locked in. I'm like, Oda, after you saw what Kuma did, Kuma was following Dragon. What has Dragon been doing? What will Dragon do? Now, I'm going to say this, JJ. If at the end of the day, Dragon accomplishes nothing, <laughs> we see nothing in regards to the backstory. Bro. Uh, Luffy goes in and somehow Luffy ends up being the one that liberates everything. And we don't get any context into Dragon's, what, decade, couple decade long journey. I'm going to be right on this stream with you, shitting on that nigga from chapter one. <laughs> yeah, no, chapter one to the end. Uh, to the end. Because I'm be like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> if it's just decades of fraudulence and we don't get anything <laughs> in regards to things he's been doing, people he I mean we know about the kids he saved, etc. But if this nigga does not accomplish what we expect him and become the man that we expect him to be, based on the context we don't have, generational slander. I, I will be there no matter what. <laughs> Yo, next level. No matter what. I promise I'll be there.